Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're looking at the class Dominator 98VX. Now these are the last incarnation of the Dominators before the Megas arrived. So I have the later Vista cab as fitted to the early Lexians. Got just the 98 in the pack but two different headers. We've got the 510 and the 420. The combine hair with standard or wide, I should say, trolley ball guitars and Michelin tires on this one. Some nicely detailed combines. We have a single beacons on the front of this one and twin beacons on the other one, front and back. See lots of detail around the outside. As we come around the front, I did notice something which, if we get right in front of it, the uh, Dominator logo on the front of the cab is uh, not quite s straight, should we say. Very, very minor, but if you compare it to the header bars, it is leaning down to one side. Needs a quick tweak in its positioning. It's just one of the little things that once you notice it, it might uh, annoy you slightly. Little details like that. I see nicely detailed around the back. Got the chaff threads, of straw chopper, and everything. To so get up into the combine. Pretty standard Dominator cab. No passenger seat or anything, which was fairly common fitment in the Vista cabs. But at least it is nicely detailed, unlike the 106 we looked at last time. The detail behind us with the engine and bubble up auger in the tank. I'm not convinced the cab internals are 100% correct for the VX models, but I would need to check that with some brushes I've got here. So lighting wires at front and rear work, rear work lights, front work lights, side work light for unloading auger, indicators front and back all working, and if you just check the beacons, they are all working as well. Sounds pretty accurate for Dominator, but it does seem slightly quiet to me. So we've got a field of wheat we're going to take this into and just try out. The good news is that both these headers have their own header trailer this time. So we'll see when we look in the shop shortly. So the volume of the, just needs a little bit of a tweak on the uh, sounds there, for the engine. Anyone who's been around these old Dominators will know that. You can hear these things running from uh, a long way away. get ourselves lined up in this corner. We'll start to go and just have a look around outside and see what does and doesn't move. So we have to hop out and do that. That's from a distant appearance as that doesn't seem like very much is animated externally. down as it should do. Usual PTO shaft animation. We've got moving straw chopper blades in there but no movement on the straw walkers on the sieve area. So no moving 
all these shafts etc on the outside. Close that back up at the back there. I think it folds up as it should do to put in the chop. And the right joystick there. Crop seems to feed in okay. Changes the note once it starts to get crop into it. We can see the grain bubbling up in the tank. The wheat doesn't seem to be cutting through the header. The straw shop goes out to the full width of the combine as well, which is always good. way around the field once with this one then we'll go and grab the one with the smaller header and give that header a try out as well so you go across the top here we will just check the animation of a dropping straw Down there's guided between the swath fingers in the right place there. Give it a fairly tight swath. Nice amount of dust coming off the header there. Chop now. Just want to leave swaths lying everywhere on this field. So we've got seven, eight, ten over there with the trailer on the back, which we'll uh, check it all empties out okay into. these dominators in game it would be nice if we could move on to the Lexian series work way through the or someone could work way through the 400s onto the 500s first class I had anything to do with was a 118 SL followed by a Lexian 460 just done a lot of hours on Five seasons I drove up, and a little bit with a 570 since then. The 98 was actually quite a popular combine. So that all seems to be emptying out okay. So I'll just tab across to the one with the smaller header now. These rear tyres do actually suit the combine to be fair. The trailer pattern on there. The lorry will stop. If you've got a combine come towards you, you'll stop. Hopefully. The rear wheels aren't quite centred properly on the rear axle as we can see there, but negligible really. Both that and the decal on the front you wouldn't really comment too much on. So 
we'll check how this one behaves. Probably crop all feeds in properly. Straw chopper goes out a bit more than the width ahead of this time. Which if you've ever actually driven a combine you'd know would be extremely irritating if you're cutting spring barley and it's slightly damp. It all bunches up at the edge of the knife the next time you come down the field. Be nice if there's some way of doing the script where you'd actually adjust the straw chopper spread. Again, that's just a personal wish, really. The swath spreading has been built into a couple of mowers in game. But now, on the modded ones, we can adjust the width of them. So it might be doable with the straw choppers. Certainly beyond my skill set. But the result is a very, very broken mods. So the combine does seem possibly a bit underpowered as you start to go uphill with it all running. A very nice looking combine nonetheless. I had to adjust up and down and in and out, okay. back to the trailer and just empty out as well. Should have made a difference to the combine change the header but it won't be the first time something silly has happened like that. That's really struggling there. I wonder if the smaller header here will actually work with the 106 or the in-game 108 from the Platinum Expansion. So it'll be worth a try. Let's have a few more headers in the Dominator size. 20 and 22 foot would be good. So no issues there. So it just leaves us to have a look at these in the shop really. There's a few configuration options. So coming under harvesters, see we've got our 98 hair. We've got choice of new green and old green, which is for the bottom half of the combine. and new grey and old grey which I presume means weathered and aged Then you can do the same for the top half old green new green got an option of Trelleborg in standard wide and wide again let's change to the back Michelin is standard, I will say the back wheels look a bit oversized because the combine's tip forwards with them. And then we've got the wide option as well. <clears throat> then we've got an option in Mytas as well of standard and wide tyres. With beacons we've got front only rare one only or all beacons and of course GPS if you've got the mod installed. Header wise we've just got the two in here got the 420 and the 510 with both the new and old green options and if we go into header trailers you'll see that we have a header trailer for each header size which is good but 
that's where we'll leave this video so for now I will say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you have please remember to like, to like and subscribe if you haven't done already and I will say I'll see you again in the next one goodbye for now